What's up, guys? So before I get into the SmackDown review, I have to address the situation that went down today. Obviously, one of the biggest things coming out of the wrestling community today was AEW doing their copyright strikes. They did it also a few months ago. I actually made a video about that, but they're doing it once again. And this time, one of my videos by AEW, which was the Brandy Rhodes and Cody Rhodes um, you know, with their whole little announcement of, you know, Brandy being pregnant, getting a child that was taken down. And not only was it taken down, but it was labeled as a copyright strike this morning. So I actually woke up, uh, with, you know, the people informing me that it was a copyright strike. And also going back a few months ago, I received another copyright strike from my Jay White and Koto Ibushi Wrestle Kingdom Night 2, talking about Koto Ibushi winning the World Championship. Now, with two copyright strikes, obviously one means that my channel could get deleted. So the very next copyright strike I receive will officially get my channel deleted and this channel will no longer be here. But as Triple H always says, there's always a plan B. And the plan B is that I actually created the second channel called DC Wrestling 2.0. And I'm actually going to put that in the link below and even in the comment section below. So please, if you can, go subscribe to that because I'm going to be careful as much as I can. But if, by God, if anything happens to this channel, that it does get this channel deleted, trust me, you will know that I will be on DC Wrestling 2.0. So I'm going to still be on YouTube. It just won't be under the DC Wrestling brand. Hopefully, um, by hearing, you know, the stuff on Twitter and stuff, uh, you know, some AEW guys like Audrey, Audrey, the referee, came out and said that this is like a glitch and they're trying to uh, get it under control and everything. So hopefully, hopefully the copyright strike will go away. But if it doesn't, again, then just know that that channel will still be there just in case my channel does get deleted. So on to the SmackDown review. Thanks, guys. All right, everyone, we just got done watching, in my opinion, an amazing episode of Friday Night SmackDown. Um, we kicked off the night with none other than the EST of WWE, the WWE Women's SmackDown champion, Bianca Belair. And, you know, she's talking about, you know, how she's finally the champion and yada, yada, yada you know, champion, babyface promo, typical. But then that's where you have Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode come out. You have the, which they're called the Dirty Dogs. And then you have Bailey come out, the Street Profits come out. And basically this all leads to a six-man tag team match. Um, well, six mixed tag team match, I should say. In the end, the Street Profits and Bianca Belair picking up the win. What I thought was a... Pretty good sixth women and man tag team match. I thought it was pretty good. I now have really no problems with it. Um, just like I have no problem with Bailey getting a shot at you know Bianca Belair. Um, I honestly think, especially after WrestleMania, since Bailey wasn't really on the WrestleMania card, uh, heard you know facing Bianca Belair, I think that'll be a really good first title defense for Bianca Belair. Anyways, we got the next match of the night. We had Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler versus Tamina Snuka and Natalia. It was okay. I didn't. It was. It was. Uh, you know. It was. It was just there. Honestly, um, I, I think Natalia and Tamina are gonna be the ones that take the titles off of um uh, Shayna and Nia, especially with the whole few they got going with Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke. Like it's only a matter of time before Natalia and Tamina do it, you know what I mean? But they got to do it fast and maybe at WrestleMania Backlash because they're literally facing each other each and every single week now and it's just like, come on now, you know? We saw a really great promo from Aleister Black and if you saw in that promo, it, that photo that he had kind of looked like The Undertaker. Now, obviously, granted, The Undertaker's retired. It's not like The Undertaker's going to come back out of retirement and face Aleister Black. Like that, that's not going to happen. But I kind of find it ironic that that photo looked like The Undertaker, considering the fact that many people consider Aleister Black to be the next Undertaker, even though, in my opinion, there will never be another Undertaker 
let Aleister Black be the one and only Aleister Black. Stop trying to make him the next Undertaker. Um, you know, but that again, either way, that was a really good promo from Aleister Black. I am really, really intrigued to see what he does on SmackDown. I'm really intrigued to see what he does with this character moving forward, just like I said last week. We had an intercontinental title match between Big E and Apollo Crews. I thought this matchup was okay for what it was worth. Uh, Big E did, did win by DQ, but of course, um, he didn't win the title. Um, you had, you know, Kevin Owens come in. Obviously, you had Sami Zayn come in and attack Owens. So, who knows, man? Maybe this leads to a fatal four-way for the championship at WrestleMania Backlash. Who knows? Probably so, because... It seems like that's where they're going, and I got no problem with that. It'll it'll be a pretty good fatal four way match, but um, nonetheless, uh, Apollo Cruz still retains his Intercontinental Championship, which is good because Apollo should not be dropping that IC belt anytime soon. He is doing some great work right now, in my opinion. All right, well, before we get to the main event, there are some things I do want to talk about. Number one. Um, they have announced that they're bringing, well, not bringing back, but next week's episode of SmackDown is going to be a retro, like an, like an old school, you know how like back in the day they used to do old school Raw episodes. That's technically what they're doing next week. They're doing an old school SmackDown. Hopefully, prayfully, they bring back the fist, please. WWE, please bring back the fist, please. That's all I'm asking. But, um, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for what they're going to do next week on the old school SmackDown, I should say. But now we get to the main event, title versus career match, Daniel Bryan versus the Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Man, were they hyping this up all match, and rightfully so. Like, you had superstars left and right saying who was going to win. You had some saying DB was going to win. You had some say Roman was going to win. And it makes sense because, this again, it was a match that it was the big match on the card, and rightfully so. Now, before I get to it, we got new music from Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has been saying it that since, you know, since he turned heel, he's been saying it for months now that he's going to get new theme. He's going to get new theme. And he finally got it tonight, so, which means we no longer hear the shield or the Roman Reigns old theme song. And, you know, I didn't I didn't dislike the Roman Reigns, the shield theme song. I liked it, but. For this theme song, for Roman Reigns, for where he's at right now with this character, his personality, that theme fits Roman Reigns. It's like a final boss music, you know what I mean? And I think that that theme song fits Roman Reigns to a T. So I have no problem with the theme song whatsoever. I think it's great, and it fits Roman Reigns perfectly. Okay, but uh, as far as this match goes, I thought this matchup was pretty good. I thought this was the match of the night. This was really a great match between both men. Um, Daniel Bryan did lose here, obviously, which obviously was going to happen. Um, and that's it for Daniel Bryan because Daniel Bryan lost the match. Daniel Bryan is banned from SmackDown. Now I did hear, and I'm not saying it's true, but I did hear that his contract, Daniel Bryan's contract could be out and who knows, man, maybe, maybe he leaves or he just goes to raw, but whatever it is, he's not going to be on SmackDown anymore. So, you know, Hey, he can go to Raw, maybe NXT, maybe. But, you know, we're just going to see what happens in the next few weeks to what Daniel Bryan does. But um, as far as tonight goes, awesome seeing Roman Reigns. Awesome just seeing Roman just destroy Daniel Bryan in front of Cesaro. That was awesome. And it looks like that's where we're going to be going towards next Cesaro versus Roman Reigns. Probably at WrestleMania Backlash. I have no problem with that whatsoever. As far as tonight goes, tonight was really good. One more thing I have to talk about before I end the SmackDown review. Like I said before, I've received two copyright strikes from this for the channel. And the third one, my channel will get deleted. So I had to create another channel called DC Wrestling 2.0. So I put it in the link below. I put it in the comment section below. Please subscribe if you can, just in case something happens to this channel. I'm not posting any content on there. I'm not. But unless my channel gets taken down, that's where I'm going to be at. 
And I also, during SmackDown, did feel a co counter argument against All Elite Wrestling. So hopefully I can get a response in the next few days or so. And we could get the video back up. Because I did put in that video that got taken down by AEW that they do own the rights to the video. So nonetheless, I'm still going to support AEW. I'm going to watch Blood & Guts. I'm going to review it. As a matter of fact, my predictions for AEW Blood & Guts will be coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned on that. As far as tonight goes, this has been the Kid DC Wrestling. Subscribe, like, comment, and so on. Yeah.